Hi, my name is Lieutenant Rachel Pruitt. I'm the Corps Officer or the Pastor here at the Salvation Army in Waynesboro, Virginia. Merry Christmas. While you wait, I'd like to share with you some information about why we do this program at the Salvation Army at Christmas time. The first thing I want you to know is that none of the things that you are receiving today, the toys, the clothes, the Christmas stockings, would be possible without the support of churches and individuals and corporations and businesses in our community. We have lots of generous people in our community who have rallied together to make sure that we have toys and clothes and gifts to give to each and every child that was on our Angel Tree list this year. We want to thank you for trusting us and for coming to us for help. We don't take it for granted to be able to serve. We don't take it for granted to be able to help you. I want you to know that you are loved, you are cared about, and you are prayed for. Thank you for applying for Angel Tree. I also want you to know about why we celebrate Christmas at the Salvation Army. You may not know this, but the Salvation Army is first and foremost a church. We believe in the Bible. Our mission at the Salvation Army is to meet human need in the name of Jesus without any discrimination. I want to share with you a little bit about the first Christmas story and why Christmas is so important. Here's a passage of scripture from the book of Luke in the Bible. At that time, the Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. This was the first census taken when Quirinius was governor of Syria. All returned to their own ancestral towns to register for this census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary, his fiancée, who was now obviously pregnant. And while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born. She gave birth to her first child, a son. She wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth, and she laid him in a manger, because there was no lodging available for them. If you haven't heard the rest of the story of Jesus, Jesus was born in a stable. He was born in a feeding trough. He grew up in a family that wasn't popular, that wasn't rich, but he was raised by a loving father and a loving mother. He was raised and he grew up to become a man that gave his life, that sacrificed his life for the future of the world. Jesus gave his life because it was the only way for us, for you, for me, to have a relationship with God. You see, our sin separates us from God. And because of Jesus' sacrifice, we can have a clean slate. Our sins can be forgiven. John 3.16 says this, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him will not die, but will have everlasting life. The same can be true for you. When you accept Jesus as your Savior, you are saved from your sin. And the future looks bright. At Christmas time, we talk about the light of the world. You see Christmas lights all around our community, and you see festive decorations at Christmas time, but nothing compares to the brightness and the light that came to earth in the form of a baby named Jesus. That light brings us hope. That light brings us love and security. And I hope you understand that today, right now in your car, you can accept Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, and you too can have a future that looks bright and hopeful. You too can have a life that is everlasting. You can have everlasting life with our Father in heaven. We love being able to support children in our community at Christmas time. We love rallying the community together to support our kids. But most of all, we love that we get to spread the love of Jesus. We hope that as you give your kids these gifts at Christmas time, that you would remember the gift of Jesus, that you would remember that the light of the world came to earth as a baby so that we could be saved. You've been waiting for about five minutes now, and don't worry, we'll be with you soon, but I wanna give you the opportunity to win a prize. If you've made it to the end of this video, first of all, thank you. Thank you for listening, and thank you for watching through to the end. When your volunteer comes to your car to drop off your gifts, tell them this word and you'll get a prize. The word is celebration. You can slip it into conversation 
Or you can say, hey, the key word is celebration and you'll receive a prize. We hope that you and your family have a wonderful Christmas. We are praying for you, we love you, and we look forward to seeing you in the new year. Merry Christmas.